Captain on the bridge. All right, captains, we are back on the bridge tonight, and tonight we are going to be taking out the knockoff mirror guardian. I say knockoff mirror guardian because this is actually not the mirror guardian. This actually is the original guardian cruiser that I got from the Delta Rising pack. But since the last two vids that we did were sort of Terran-ish, Mirror-ish themed, I thought, why not just put some red on the saucer and call it a um, Guardian? So that's what we did. We're keeping it with the theme here, like I said, with the two previous videos that we did here. And this is a ship that we haven't taken out in a while. And there was something that sort of piqued my interest with some of the recent releases that wanted me to take this out too as well. So we'll go over that. What we'll do first is go over the build. Weapons, space set, consoles, trade stations, DOS. Take an elite Argala and then see how it does. So here we go. Again, it's the ISS Mirror Guardian for Mirror Guardian, Guardian Cruiser. So for the four weapons, we put an Agni Phaser Dual Beam Bank. Roll to crit DM at damage four. The two other beams here are the Agni Phasers. Just beam arrays. Again, roll to crit DM at damage four. I just bought these off the exchange. And just like the Warship Voyager theme of the Mirror Universe going, you know, they're kind of, they're dark, they have quantums, we're going to use the Dark Matter Quantum Torpedo because it still hits like a truck. So this again comes from your Discovery Rep. Deflector, your Elite Fleet Intervention Proto Matter Deflector from your Fleet Colony. Your prevailing innovated impulse engines it comes from your competition rep. The mycelial harmonic matter antimatter core with the Tilly's Review pending modified shield. Both of these come from your discovery rep. Okay, and the aft weapons, same thing. We got three agony phaser beam arrays, crit DM damage four. Again, just got this off the exchange. And because what Federation ship would be complete without an aft torpedo, I am putting the prolonged engagement photon here just so that when I am broadsiding a target, it can still fire for the immersion. Devices here, we got some energy amplifier candy the for the plus 20% bonus energy weapon damage for 20 seconds. Temporal Negotiator. Kobayashi Maro Transponder for all this buff goodness and the Deuterium Surplus for movement. For the consoles here, we have the Bio Neural Infusion Circuits from your Lobi store. The Domino console, which gives us plus 15% phaser damage, but we're using it for its weapon damage, plus weapon damage, plus haste. So it says here for 10 seconds. And when you kill a target, it's going to extend the duration of the console by two seconds. So, and it gives us all these goodness here. So 25% fire cycle haste for energy weapons, plus 25% bonus all damage, so that's cat two, plus 25% recharge speed for bridge officer abilities, plus 100% recharge speed for torpedo weapons. So all goodness. Here, the dynamic power distribution module or the DPRM from your Atlas, which is a lockbox ship. And the Point Defense Bombardment Warhead, which is from the NX. This gives us, of course, the 25% projectile damage, 1% crit chance. But again, this DPRM gives us all its goodness for the 11.3 all damage resistance rating, plus 90% directed energy damage, plus 40% bonus damage, plus 100 bonus damage resistance rating, plus 500% hull regen. Nothing but goodness. Of course, when you pair it up with the Bombardment Warhead, you get more phaser damage, plus 33%. Next, we have the Emulating Phaser Lance for its plus 15.8 phaser damage and shield pen of 43.8. 
this is going to be a beam overload build so this is kind of sort of count as that but we can also use our head can and say hey they modified the ship to have a lance because the Audi's going to get a lance why not the what now the mirror Audi yes coming soon PM next console the M6 computer this is from your temporal escort which is a T4 ship which you can get from the shipyard for dilithium it's almost like your placeholder if you don't have the Domino console, which by the way, this Domino console is from the Bajoran Interceptor, which you can get from the Phoenix, Phoenix Prize Pack, and it's an epic token. This though, you can get from the Shipyard, so this is like a good placeholder. But it gives us plus 15% bonus all damage for 15 seconds, plus 25% cooldown reduction of tactical bridge officer abilities, 20% fire cycle haste, because we're going to lose haste as we activate beam overload so nothing but goodness we're still gonna use opening salvo because captains you know i love opening salvo spread of quantums and plus it takes the enemy shield down which is gonna we're gonna go into that a little bit more about that shield detail we go here using the Lorca's custom fire control with for its plus 3.9 crit chance and it's 7.9 weapon power setting with also 157.5 starship shield pen from your discovery rep. This was actually from the, the opening salvo was from your Titan, tier six Titan ship. And of course, two vulnerability locators or the plus 39.4 phaser damage and plus 2% crit chance. Now, stat wise, this gives us 41.9 crit chance and 176.3 crit severity. Keep in mind, captains, I do have my Pendevers ranked all the way to 600. So that's helping us out as well. Our traits. We got a good day to die. Adaptive offense. Beam barrage. Superior beam training. Inspirational leader. Unconventional systems. Self-modulating fire, Terran targeting systems, intelligence agent attache, the Boimler effect. Our starship traits, you have the universal designs, emergency weapon cycle, preferential targeting, and this is going to be our main, it's going to help this trait here, the super weapon ingenuity. And of course, rapid emitting armaments when we use tractor beams, this gives us three hyperplasma torpedoes. We're going to get into, oh, you know what? I forgot a trait here. We forgot a trait. So what we're going to do is we're going to sacrifice this one. Great thing about a build is you can change it up. So we'll take that out. We'll reduce our 100% bonus damage to try this trait out. The tractor beam, oh sorry, the starship traits right here. This is from the new lockbox. It's the carry wave shield hacking. So when we activate a tractor beam or intel ability, shields go offline for five seconds. So this gives us also plus 30% kinetic damage with tractor beam. So I lose the 100% bonus damage on my beam overload, but we're gonna gain instant no shield along with opening salvo to just go direct to hull damage. That's what we want to do. Okay, for our space rep, we're going magnified firepower, Tyler's duality, precision, tactical advantage, and advanced targeting systems. And then active space rep, all we got going on here is the anti-time entanglement singularity, biomolecular shield generator, deploy sensor interface, quantum singularity manipulation, and refracting tetron cascade. Stations. This was a little interesting. It was a happy accident that happened. Left to right, top to bottom, we got chemocyte. Torp spread one. Now, since we're not using the, the cannon scatter volley, we're going to go beta to give us some debuff. So there you go, we're gonna go attack pattern beta. 
beam overload three. This is still going to hit hard. We just have to time our buffs right when we're hitting, when we're going against our targets. Emergency power to engines. Emit unstable warp bubble. Emergency power to weapons three. Eject warp plasma. Viral impulse burst. Override subsystem safeties. And then for our science here, tractor beam, scramble sensors, and photonic shockwave. Now, the happy accident here was five unconventional system procs. One, two, three, four, five, six, sorry, six. So our universal consoles of the emulating phaser lance, dynamic DPRM, of course, advanced tactical computer and domino will be up and opening salvo should this should synergize good so there it is we're going to take it to the argala before we do we're going to say hello to our fellow captains here with us and we have william knight and his actually he's got the mirror guardian right there we have johnny Anthony Taylor. I did also see. There you go. Corel, right over there. So we'll take into our gallet, see how it does. See how it does. This was kind of a thought experiment, and like I said, the good thing about these builds is you can always change them on the fly. See what works. So we're in elites. Here we go, gaps. And some tickets out of here. Maximum mm -hmm. I sir. Engage. All right, let's see how it does here. Remember, Picard's always with us. Doesn't matter. Prime, Mirror, he's always with us. Riker, too. Okay, let's give Benthens a hand. Tactical Ooh. alert. Vessel approaching, bearing 184, Mark 7. All hands. Battle stations. Weapons hot, deflectors to full. Yeah, no shields. Bye. And I haven't even used opening salvo yet. Yeah, it's a lot of phaser goodness. So we gotta put beta on here. There we go. Well, there's the first group. You have entered an looks like our fight. And now we're gonna buff up. Let's go over and ask if their boss might come out of hiding. Bye. <laughs> Wow. Okay, that's crazy. There was no shields on any of those almost the whole time. Okay, this is going to be a fun build, Caps. This is going to be a fun build. Tractor beams up. Buy shields and you get plasma. Oh my gosh. Double whammy. Wow. And there goes your shields. Oh, buy shields again. And it's such a Star Trek thing. Tra tractor beam? <laughs> now with the added benefit of three heavy plasma torps coming your way. You will stand down and surrender to the Oof. This is good fun, Caps. Sensors are picking up small habitation from some of the asteroids. Possibly consistent with pulse temporary hideout. Try to keep our bow on our targets. Bye. Didn't even reach that. Oh, let's not. 
Just be careful. Those things hit hard, and that's why you hear it re yourself, because those plasma torps can hurt you. You have some more. <laughs> we do what we want, where we want. Where are you going? No shields for you. Picked up a new <laughs> beam transmission on a new frequency. We're jamming that spectrum of their comms now, but it was probably a call for assistance. Oh, really? Phaser goodness. Yep, bye bye. Where are you going? You Last group already. All right, let's buff up. Take the shield down. Take the shield down again. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, take care of these last three ships. Bye, shields. And there we go. Okay, that was absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, let's go over here for our ship shelfies. Thank you for, for your our assistance. shelfies. We recently... we have the hey, suspect. excuse me, sir. Not now. Go over here. Find a good angle. As you can see, we just put like red markings on her because usually now the new Terran skin designs are just usually on the saucer. So we use, I believe, Virgo and then tried to make it as red as we could. Everything else was just plain. Uh, but there it is. That is how she did. And that was quite interesting. Ever since we read that blog for the new items in the Emerald Chain lockbox with that trait that we just use that knocks the shields offline when using tractor beam or intel abilities we were wondering how that would do i think it's gonna do good uh and the whole build itself i quite enjoyed doing and it did well enough for me you know i always say i'm not the best ship builder which is true captains but i build these type of ships for my fun and it's enough to do the, the pew pew shenanigans we do here nightly on the twitch bridge so captains i invite you all to come over to our twitch bridge where we have fun we pew pew and take shelfies all night long this ship i got from the delta rising pack if you get a chance to get it this is especially something that you like in terms of looks it performs still really well in my opinion and again it performs good enough for me so I, re I would recommend it it's a ship I haven't used in a while so I thought why not do something different with it and just sort of use it as an experiment for that new trait so there it is that's how she did captains we're gonna leave it there on this note don't let them promote you don't let them transfer you don't let them do anything that takes you off the bridge of that ship because while you're there you can make a difference